selected by the class of 2021, the Outstanding Teaching Award honors a faculty member who has made a significant contribution to teaching and mentoring. Today, we honor Professor Neil Tuig from our Warren College Writing Program. He received his PhD in literature here at UC San Diego, and he has taught writing courses for transfer students in the Warren College Writing Program for the past two years. Professor Tuig received dozens of nominations for this award, with many of them stating how he is like no other professor at UCSD. He deeply cares about his students and is always there for them. One student shared, Neil Tuig is one of the best people I have ever met. He helped me see the world in ways I had never before considered and taught me He helped me see the world in ways I had never before considered and taught me about the interconnectivity of humans, structures of power, and movements to challenge systems of injustice. I am a better person for having taken Neil's class. It is my privilege and pleasure to present Warren's Outstanding Teaching Award to Professor Neil Tuig. How's everyone doing today? Well, today I want to share five lessons that I learned with my students, with my students, these past two years. Number one, ask that question I started with, how are you? Silence doesn't mean that question wasn't heard or appreciated. Number two, be vulnerable, be vulnerable, and you let others in. I often answered my own question, how are you, with my students, you know, in the classroom and in those Zoom sessions. Not good. <laughs> my father is sick. My father died. My wife, she has cancer. It's hard, it's really hard raising a toddler in the middle of a pandemic. My brother is sick. My brother's gone. And a curious thing happened when I opened up. You opened. You opened. I'm tired. I'm anxious. I lost my job. I lost my uncle. My mom battled cancer and won. My mom battled cancer and lost. And how are you? How are you, professor? Lesson number three, isolation doesn't equal separation. Teaching remotely, surrounded by a pandemic, my wife battling cancer, I came to see the classroom as a microcosm of what our communities, our places of work, our country could be, a life raft, a place where we weather the storm, where we share tools, for navigating uncharted waters, where we find lifelines, lifelines, and ways to throw them to the tempest tossed. A place where we see rainbows on the horizon. Lesson number four. The wisest teachers don't always wear these, right? More often they wear jeans, hospital scrubs, aprons, shirts sweaty from the field, Sometimes the wisest ones don't have enough to stay warm. Keep your eye out for them. And keep your ears open. Lesson number five. You have wisdom that no book or app can give you. Wisdom comes from experience. You have it. 
You who've heard shell casings dropping like rain on your apartment roof. You who took care of your dying parent. You whose mother grabbed the family portrait before the soldiers came. You whose father worked the day shift and whose mother worked the night. You who cross oceans or deserts. You who worried about your status. You who was reluctant to wear a hoodie. You who was forced from home by wildfires. You who fought to raise a rainbow flag. You who saw your parents cry through a recession. You who held nature in your mind. You who held your crying baby in your arms while on Zoom. You who didn't listen to the minister who told you transitioning was a sin. You who was shaken by three words, I can't breathe. You who felt millions breathed their last, too soon gone, right? Too soon gone. Let wisdom be your compass. Let it guide you to the work you were born to do and to the communities you were meant to serve. Thank you.